may have been cold, but that didn't stop close to 10,000 people turning out to celebrate winter in Dunedin. More than 1,000 performers and participants marched around the octagon, with about 400 lanterns lighting up the streets. This whole event's about people and people power and, um, you know, we, we turn off all the lights, we take out all the cars and, you know, families uh, reclaim the octagon as a safe place to be, as an inspiring place to be. Although the carnival celebrates winter, the season's strong winds made it difficult for volunteers to hoist their lantern, which included a record-sized three-metre tall castle. And because of the strong wind, the fireworks show at the carnival's conclusion had to be cancelled. Public interest in the event has grown rapidly since it started in 1997 and a lot of behind the scenes work is put in by an art team and production crew to ensure the night goes off without a hitch. They've been uh, behind the scenes uh, working in warehouses and creating giant lanterns and costumes and doing all these other things that people don't see but on the night they uh, make everything look amazing. Festival participants marched around the octagon twice, giving people the chance to get a good look. And of the 80 volunteers helping, many shared the same opinion on which lantern was their favourite. Uh, I like as well, it's a very big one, but I like as well the, um, I don't know in English, it's uh, the thing, you know? Oh, this yeah, this one. I like this one. It's just massive and it's a giant castle. It's very Game of Thrones-esque. <laughs> For those who made lanterns in the weeks leading up to the event, it was a chance to showcase their work to a big audience. It's pretty fun and it makes you feel special to be doing it for in front of most of Planning for next year's event is already underway and while organisers won't reveal the chosen theme, they say they're hoping for slightly calmer conditions by the time it rolls around. John McKenzie, 39 Deneen News.